right. They cannot be suspended this except in rebellion. Congress has to actually affirmatively suspend the right of habeas. So we've been saying it doesn't matter what the Military Commissions Act is, says it is unconstitutional. What did the court today say? That whether or not there is a statutory right to habeas, Congress cannot take away the constitutional right. So they have clearly said what you and I know, what the ACLU has been saying, what all people who believe in the system of checks and balances believe, which is there is a constitution and it means something. If you want to take away constitutional rights, we know you do it. You have to amend the constitution. There's no other way. So the court has agreed with that. The other good news is the tide is turning. We at the ACLU, along with our partners in Amnesty International, the National Religious Campaign Against Torture, the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights, and many, over nearly 50 partner organizations across the country, are forming on June 26 what's called the Day of Action to Restore Law and Justice. We are focusing on two sets of bills. Uh, the one, and I won't call it good news, but last October, in October 2006, when Congress passed the Military Commissions Act, there was an amendment that tried to take out this habeas stripping provision, and it actually just lost by one vote. So there was an awareness in Congress that maybe we're going a little too far. So we have now pending in Congress two sets of bills. One is called the Habeas, Cor habeas Corpus Restoration Act. It's a very narrow, very limited uh, bill. In the Senate, it's uh, S-185. In the House, it's H.R. 1416. And what it does is it just returns the right to habeas corpus. It essentially says anywhere at Guantanamo, you cannot hold somebody indefinitely. Anybody has the right to have the charges against them. They have the right to have a court here, whether or not they're being detained properly. Even better than the Habeas Corpus Restoration Act is something called the Restoring the Constitution Act. What that does is it really gets to a good chunk of the problems with the Military Commissions Act. Not only does it end the idea of indefinite detention, and some of these folks in Guantanamo have been there over five years. They have never been charged with a single crime. Of the initial uh, numbers who were held there, over half have been released. I mean, the Army is just, these guys should have never been there. Most of them who are still there, it appears that that's the case. There are some who are still there, actually, who in their combatant status review tribunals, again, I've told you these are not, like, these are not uh, uh, procedures that will favor the uh, individuals being held, but there are even some there who are being held there now that in their combatant status review tribunals, they've said, no, they really are not enemy combatants, but they don't know where to return them. For example, there was a group called Uyghurs. These are, um, they live in China, but they're ethnically not Chinese. They ended up sending them back to Albania because if they sent them back to China, they would be tortured. So there's people who are being held at Guantanamo who aren't even considered to be enemy combatants, but they don't know where to send them. So the injustice there is just overwhelming. The Restoring the Constitution Act, which is again S-576 in the Senate and uh, uh, H.R. 1415 in the House,